Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be testing out the new animal eye tracking feature on my Canon EOS R5. Now, Canon claims that the R5 is able to do eye tracking for dogs, cats, and even birds. And I'm sure that you guys have seen videos online of people doing that and trying out, trying this feature out on other animals. But for the sake of this video today, I have my two lovely family members, which is Paris my cat and Maka my dog, to try this out with me today. Now my cat, as you can see, well, uh, she's rather slow and you know, slow in her movement, which means that majority of the testing will be of my dog, Maka. Now, do keep in mind that I've only had this camera for a few days, and so there's a lot of things that which I think requires tweaking, such as the tracking speed and autofocus sensitivity, so that what I'm showing you today may not be the best accurate representation of this feature. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video and test this feature out in video mode. When it comes to servo autofocus in video mode, there's always going to be motion blur because you don't want to be using too fast of a shutter speed when filming 30p. So obviously we won't be judging the sample using frame by frame, but rather its ability to keep track of my dog Maka and focus smoothly and consistently. So in this first clip, we're testing out the camera's ability to recognize Maka as a subject within the frame. We can see that whenever she does run into the frame, the little box that auto that tracks her focus does snap right onto her eye and it does a really good job of it. And that whenever that her eye may not be that well seen or whenever it's moving a bit, we can see that the autofocus box automatically adjusts onto her face or even when she's looking away from the camera her whole body and it also does a really good job of tracking her throughout while she's running away or towards the camera however we can see that at certain times when she's behind the op certain objects it does go loose out of focus but once she runs back out we can see that the auto focus tracks right back onto Maka the subject and overall i would say that i'm pretty happy with it but obviously we should also look at the footage that's currently recording on my r5 in order to see how well the autofocus is actually doing on the camera itself so this is the actual footage that was recorded on my r5 just now in my previous clip and i would say that the camera does a really good job of keeping Maka in focus and tracking her even when she's jumping around and coming in and out of the frame if we look precisely we can see that at certain times the autofocus does lose its focus on Maka's face, whether that may be focusing on her body or just completely losing focus in general, or maybe requiring time to, to adjust the autofocus. Now, as I said again, this may be due to the tracking sensitivity and speed, which requires more tweaking, which I haven't dealt with yet. So this is really just the original settings of the camera, and we're just testing out and seeing how it does it. But overall, I would say that the animal eye tracking feature on this Canon R5 in video mode does a really good job of recognizing Maka and not focusing on other tracking subjects that may be within the frame. And that, to me, is really, really, really impressive. So for the second part of this video, we'll be testing out the animal eye tracking feature in photo burst mode. Even though the camera seems like it was able to recognize Maka, it seems to struggle to keep track of her when I'm actually taking the photos, which resulted in the blurry images. Now, keep in mind this problem is especially significant as Maka is running directly towards the camera, which may not always be the case with animal photography. We can also see that even when the camera was able to keep track of her, the servo autofocus speed was still falling a bit short. Now obviously this may be due to some settings that needs to be tweaked, but the images came out a little bit better but still very blurry. However, using the handheld and shooting her from a different angle seemed to make it easier for the camera, and I was able to get crispier shots right onto Mocker's eye. And thus, I would say that ensuring a subject is well within the frame and tracked by the camera before going into full speed bursting will allow the tracking feature to do a better job. Now, I'm generally really happy with this new feature and it certainly makes animal and wildlife photography a heck a lot of easier even though I don't do much of it. Now I do understand that all photos and videos were tested under one condition and a single angle and so this does not tell the full story, don't get me wrong. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.